What's up guys, Next here. Today we are back and we got a rather nice update today. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, there's been a small update to the cockpits. Uh, we now have conveyor hatches at the bottom. Here's the large conveyor hatch on the small ship, smallish cockpit. Uh, one big one on the bottom, two on the back. Uh, the fighter cockpit has one large one on the back, one small one right there, and then one right there, and I, nope, it doesn't have one there. The uh, large ship cockpit, the enclosed one, has one large one right there, nothing in back. Um, here is the oxygen generator, and I'm really liking this model, it's cool. Uh, it does the same function as Hey, you can't open those hatches, that must be a bug. Same function as the large ship station one. Uh, you can just see you throw ice in there and you get your oxygen. Um, same function, works. I don't know if it has a lower efficiency or a slower refine speed, I would assume so, but I haven't tested that yet. Here we have our oxygen generator. Um, this is pretty cool too. Um, looks like they're actually starting to improve the model quality when they release a thing. Uh, here we have balls. I like balls. Balls are fun. They bounce. Okay, let's control C that. And then, wee! Boing! Boing! Balls! I like them! Don't take that the wrong way. Uh, they do have an antenna thing. Um, Let's see, control panel. Uh, let's disable the bra broadcasting. Pull that up a little bit. Ooh, wow, we can make that heavy. <laughs> um, oh, hey, we can make it completely non existent weight wise, too. Okie dokie. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, why is this so fun? Balls. I wonder if these could be used as landing gears, or if they're just, like, a fun thing to play around with. Like, you would put these as nubs on the ends of pistons, and then use them so you can land on a area. Um, something that's bugged me recently. Uh, players cannot pr move around any large ship item. Like, you can kick around a small ship a passenger chair. Okay, I will type in pass instead. See these things? You can kick him around if they're not. Um, let's connect it to that. Turn that off. See how we pushed it there? We can't push it now. So, just a little thing to take note of. Um, here I have slightly edited my normal fighter craft into a oxygen tanker. We have a tank here, and then an oxygen generator on the other side. So that's looking pretty nice too. Um, let's hop in here, show you how to connect up with connectors. Okay. Um. They did add the functionality today to uh, pass oxygen through connectors also. Um, let's go into my oxygen generator. I think I might need to put ice in it. <laughs> yeah, I think I do. Um, let's do the F. Oh, not blueprints menu. Shift F10. There we go and grab some ice for that oxygen generator so we can fill that tank up. Ice, there we go. Uh, let's just do a thousand. Ooh, ah, dang it. Oh, wrong thing again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit of a fail sometimes. I try not to be, but it always ends up happening. Okay. Now that we have eyes, we can try and squeak in between these connectors. 
No, okay, let, let, let's just do it the easy way then. Okay, so that should be pulled in by the oxygen generator here. And that should be filling this tank up over here, see? It's being generated over here and transferred to here. So that's really cool. I'm really happy about that. Um, let's see, what haven't we covered? Nothing. Oh, uh, they added a new survival function today. If I press the right buttons. Uh, there is now a oxygen tank. Oxygen bottle, there we go. What? It didn't work, did I accidentally? I press shift F10, stupid computer. Okay, oxygen bottle, spawn object. Oh, here we go. Ooh. So these have a really cool looking model too. Um, it really does look like a oxygen tank to me. Um, let's grab that. And now it's in our inventory, we can go over here and find the oxygen generator right there and fill her up. So now it's full and that will, once my oxygen uh, on the left side bar, it says oxygen right under energy. Once that goes below 30, it will try and fill up my um, oxygen so I can carry those around, keep me alive for longer. Uh, you can also uh, put these in a oxygen tank to pressurize your cockpits. Um, I, I mean, why not just use the tank? And actually, can I hop into here? Does the cockpit now have an inventory, actually? Oxygen tank, no, 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 no. Looks like it doesn't have it. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. <sighs> Maybe in a future update we will be able to put oxygen tanks in our cockpits instead of having to waste an inventory space. Um, uh, so I think that's about it for this update. Uh, also, if your energy goes all the way down in survival mode with being in a pressurized environment, your um, energy or your health won't go down. Uh, also, you know, for a while I've been wondering why there are conveyor hatches on med bays. Um, now you can get oxygen from med bays too, so that needs to be conveyed up for that to work properly. And this room is perfectly pressurized. It's just a nice little functional room, arc furnace, oxygen generator, oxygen tank, assembler, so on and so forth. Pretty simple. You can see my ship. Hi, ship. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. I'm curious to hear feedback. It always helps. And we'll see you guys in the next video.